Welcome back everyone. Uh, definitely never good news. Sometimes when you start seeing more videos from me consecutively, that only tells you that the current job market is running wild, right? Now we have Amazon who has avoided hiding, hiring 160,000 jobs, meaning there's 160,000 jobs that Amazon does not need to fill anymore. And like, how is that even possible with the size of Amazon? How much they got going on? Because it's all robotics. It's all automated. Now, when we think of automation, sometimes I, I'll be honest, when I think of automation, sometimes I feel like, oh, it's just a application or a piece of software. But do not forget, Amazon, uh, known for implementing systematic, automatic robots, right? Machines that were doing things that humans were doing physically. Now we're talking about physically. Now I had a comment come in just the, uh, just yesterday about, you know, when I was talking about Verizon, it was like, oh, you can't have peop uh, robots, AI climb, you know, telephone poles. You can't have them fix the sewer pipes. I don't agree entirely because they're doing that. They're making robots do things that humans used to do, right? Case in point would be car manufacturing. Every piece of a car used to be put together by a human, which is probably no longer existence, right? There's, there's machines that can do the jobs. Uh, they, you could call them tools. You can call them robots. You can call them whatever you want. But a lot of that has been automated. So let's uh, just dive a little deeper into this video as we're and see what we're dealing with. Amazon's automation team expects to avoid hiring more than 160,000 U.S. workers by 2027, saving 30 cents per item, according to internal documents. The New York Times reviewed strategy papers showing executives told the board they hope to keep the U.S. workforce flat through 2033. That translates to more than 600,000 people Amazon wouldn't need to hire, even as sales double, the documents reveal. At its Shreveport, Louisiana warehouse, Amazon uses a thousand robots and employs 25% fewer workers than without automation. MIT economist Darun Semoglu warns Amazon could become a net job destroyer as other companies copy its automation playbook nationwide. For more from MTN, that is insane. The fact that Amazon is pretty much exposing meaning they're willing to share the way they function. And if other corporations are willing to accept and pick up and copy, mimic Amazon's way of doing things, yeah, they wouldn't need to hire people. They'll just pay that upfront cost of buying the machines or the robots and performing the jobs of a human being. So, yeah, uh, you know, there, there are definitely comments coming in they're worried, you know, we may not see an uptick of employment maybe within our lifetime, uh, you know, for the younger generation. You guys would probably experience more in the decades to come. Uh, you know, as I've been experiencing my own history, right, uh, during the financial crisis of like 2008, 2009, I was fortunate to not be let go, but there were tons of people that were being let go. But now I compare what I experienced or remember about that, comparing it to what we're going through now. Today's market of unemployment outnumbers that past by many, many folds. So how are we surviving? That is the, the question. How are we going to survive if this keeps on happening? Uh, do everyone have to just get into learning AI and start building robots? That's, um, that's the challenge that we're facing right now. Where are all our graduates from school and even master's degrees with all these knowledge, but now ChatGPT can become my lawyer or my negotiator or my real estate agent. So many things has been pushed over to something that can be automated and purchased for like $20 a month. Insane. 
I just wanted to share that with you. Of course, this is not great news. It's never good news whenever there's potentially more jobs that won't be filled. Um, how does that concern cybersecurity? The less human beings there are, um, there is probably less, <laughs> less uh, incidents, uh, people being, uh, you know, humans, right? It's usually between clicking on phishing emails or letting things happen that shouldn't happen. Now, it's not to say that machines and robots are perfect. Uh, cybersecurity will still have an existence because other threat actors, uh, people, other, you know, machines or nationwide threat actors, a whole bunch of things, will probably start targeting these vulnerabilities. Um, you know, case in point would be like something like the ring cameras or the Google uh, home devices, IoT devices, uh, infrastructure, critical infrastructure. Uh, I would say at, at this point, Amazon, with its all its robotics, I mean, if it's air-gapped, if it's isolated and there's no connection out to the internet, great. Uh, but there are still other vulnerabilities. Cybersecurity will still need to be of existence. Okay, so just wanted to share that with you guys, and um, let's let's keep an eye on what's going on on the market. Thanks.